On your mark, get set, go. Lace up your gym shoes and get ready to walk the Mindful Mile on campus next week. Plus, we introduce you to the Assistant Professor of Anatomy and Physiology, Karen Oliver Tucci, the 2017 overall outstanding faculty member at the College of DuPage. And the annual spring performance of the college dance is this weekend. We leap in and highlight what these performances have to offer. All that and much more on this edition of Courier TV News. Hi, and thanks for joining us. I am Paul Dipping. Karen Oliver Tucci, Assistant Professor of Anatomy and Physiology at College of DuPage, has been named the overall outstanding faculty member for 2017. CNTV reporter Nick Petrillo introduces us to this year's recipient. Each year, the College of DuPage asks students to nominate their favorite professor to be recognized for the Outstanding Faculty Member Award. After being nominated by eight of her students, anatomy and physiology professor Karen Oliver Tucci has been awarded Faculty Member of the Year. You know, I'm very appreciative because there's such a, a huge pool of quality candidates here. I'm very appreciative that they did that and that they've acknowledged me as one of their favorite teachers. Uh, she's she's, a, she's very, a very sweet teacher, very approachable, easy teaching. She deserves the best. One thing that students have appreciated is Professor Oliver Tucci's ability to connect with students and hands-on approach to teaching. She really cares about her students and um, she uses like real-world examples like when she teaches. So like when she'll be teaching something, she'll, say, she'll like relate it to, oh, this is what you're going to encounter in your health science career. When I'm planning my labs, I try and make them as hands-on as possible. I realize that my students um, learn through a variety of modalities, and some are visual, some are auditory, some are kinesthetic. This is my second semester with her, and anatomy is a very hard class, and she makes it very easy. Professor's love of teaching has helped her succeed at COD and earn the respect of her students. I really love teaching the anatomy and physiology courses. Um, because it enables me to, one, work with students for six hours a week, and I'm able to get to know them while on a personal level and help them achieve their goals. Uh, she truly cares about her students. Um, she is very, you know, caring. She will go the extra mile for you. Um, she's always willing to work with you, and she sets aside a lot of time. She's very passionate about what she does. Um, always, always talking about, like I said, like, career paths and stuff. The most important thing, she wants you to be successful. She'll go the extra mile for you if you need her to. This award, Professor Oliver Tucci is motivated for the future. Winning this award is motivating me to want to continue trying new things in the lab and, and continue to do more hands-on activities with my students. For CNTV, this is Nick Petrillo. Spring has just started, but it's not too early to start thinking about COD's annual 5K run in September. Early registration starts this Friday in front of the MAC building at noon. If you're one of the first 150 people to register, you'll get a free treat from one of the participating food trucks. Early registration for the Sunset 5K Run Walk costs only $5. The event organizers are also looking for volunteers. If you'd like to help out at the race, you can also sign up Friday. For more information on the 5K race, go to www.cod.edu slash 5K. The annual juried student art exhibit is now open until May 20th at the Cleve Carney Art Gallery at the college. The jury display will feature two-dimensional and three-dimensional works of art by students at the college. The event is free and open to the public. For more information on this exhibit, contact the Cleve Carney Art Gallery at 630-942-2321. The College Dance will present its annual Spring Dance Concert on Friday, April 21st at 7.30 p.m. in the Belushi Performance Hall in Mackinac Arts Center. The show will feature modern jazz, ballet, and contemporary dance styles and will be choreographed by guest choreographer, dance faculty, and performances by COD dancers. Student choreographers are very impressive. Uh, they've worked hard all semester and they've made um, five really unique pieces and um, yeah they each have an individual voice that they're showing off in this concert and that's really fun to see. Well we had a couple of weeks for me to create and envision what I wanted and then teach it and demonstrate it to my dancers to learn and then 
they had to space it and nail it and have it memorized for us to put it on stage. The dancers have been working hard to perfect their technique and convey a message through their movement. Tickets for the event are $6, general admission for tickets and more information call 630-942-4000. The College Music will be showcasing alumni singer-songwriter Rebecca Ray for Music Fridays at noon on April 21st in Room 140. The concert is free and open to the public. For more information on Music Fridays, contact Lee Kesselman at kesselma at cod.edu. The College Music will present its annual Spring Student Music Recital starting on May 1st with the DuPage Community Concert Band on May 10th. Percussion Ensemble on May 11th, the Chamber Singers and Concert Choir. All concerts begin at 7.30 p.m. and are held in the Belushi Performance Hall in Mackinac Art Center. Tickets for the concerts are $6 for general admission. For tickets and information, call 630-942-4000. Living well at any age, that's the message behind the 5th Annual Senior Expo hosted by the College of DuPage. The event will focus on financial planning estate, planning making, the right health care choices, tips for healthy living, and hosts of other topics. COD's professional massage clinic will provide free massages, and attendees will get a chance to win some fun raffle prizes. This free community event takes place on Sunday, April 23rd from noon to 4 p.m. For more information, call 630-942-2208 or email cce at cod.edu. This April, get ready to spring into action with the College of DuPage. On Monday, April 24th, COD will host the Mindful Mile outside the cafeteria. Starting at 11.30 a.m., participants will walk one mile around campus to raise awareness of exercise and healthy lifestyles. Students, faculty, and staff at the college are welcome to participate in this event. The Mindful Mile is sponsored by Sedexa Food Service that will provide a free lunch following the event. Next week, Sedexo will also be hosting its second annual Cupcake Wars competition at the college. Come satisfy your sweet tooth and raise money to fight hunger. Students and staff can team up and bake homemade cupcakes to be judged on creativity, presentation, and texture. Contestants will be judged by culinary faculty. The winning team will take home a gift basket full of prizes. The event will take place on April 27th from 11.30 a.m to 1 p.m. at the college's cafeteria. All proceeds will go to Northern Illinois Food Bank, a nonprofit that helps feed the hungry in Northern Illinois. You've heard of online dating, but what about doggy dating? CNTV reporter Anna Perchinski cuddles up to some furry friends. The Student Life Lounge is usually home to events such as open mic and game nights, but on April 19th, it was host to a bunch of furry friends as part of doggy dating. The event started as a project in Sandy Freeze's mass communication class. The students had to pick a charity and do print advertising, television advertising, press release, and actually have a public relations event to promote the charity. However, mass comm student Sarah Hodshire wanted to bring this idea to life, no matter what it took. Well, originally, I had to reach out to like maybe five shelters, and we have finally heard back from the Naperville Area Humane Society and from there I worked with some of their people to try and get the needed information and hopefully get them to come to the PR and then eventually my teacher brought along ARF who's the Animal Rescue Foundation and they brought dogs as well. ARF, one of the charities that were involved with this event, helps over 800 dogs and cats find a home each year. Dogs that have been loved understand when they're back in a situation where they're left. And it just, all the stress of having been, you know, in a kill shelter, um, kind of goes away, melts away. As a dog lover, this event means a lot to Sarah. She's happy if even one of the dogs gets a forever home. Uh, you know, just in every little thing helps in adopting or just helping these animals find their homes, so. I just hope people take that message away with them. If you're ready to open your heart to a fluffy companion, please contact either the Naperville Area Humane Society or ARF for more information.
Thanks for joining us on this week's Courier TV News. Please join us again next week as we connect you to the community with more College of DuPage news. Have a great weekend.